I've never heard that woman talk to me like that. I, I don't, okay, this meeting is being recorded. Did you hear her? She just very said that on mine too this week. Very she official. She's okay. Yeah. Well, we'll have to sponsor her into APL Go, whoever she is. <laughs> Welcome to Mind Your Own Business. I'm Dr. Erin, and here's where we talk about all things related to these eight inches between our ears where our businesses are won or lost, right? We talk about mindset and leadership and sales and growth and going after excellence and choosing greatness and all that that involves. So today we're going to talk about how you can really feel like a credible expert. Who would love to feel like I am credible? I know what I'm talking about. I am an expert in APL Go. I'm going to teach you the process of how to actually feel that way, which I think is so exciting. Um, you could even feel like a credible salesperson. You could feel like you're a credible um, health, not coach, but um, expert. Like all of these things that you want to feel credible in that maybe you think, I don't know if I'm like really that credible. We're going to move the needle on that. Okay. So this is from day 20 of my book, Mind Your Own Business called Claim Your Expert Status. And I'm going to give you the concept that, that the technique and then actual words that we're going to practice together here today of how to actually um, stop feeling like you're selling and feel like you're literally what we say all the time is just a professional problem solver. We're just professional problem solvers, right? We're going to channel our inner Santa Claus and feel like we're just looking for people that are looking for the gifts that are in our bag and that we just get to give gifts all day long. Okay. So, you know, sometimes I, I, I actually hear this a lot from the field, things like, I'm just not good at sales or who's going to take me seriously. I've never done network marketing or I don't know anything about plant DNA. I don't know anything about health. I don't know anything about any of this stuff. Like how am I the expert? Okay. And I want to ask you and start with this. What if Beyonce had said, does the world really need another singer? So I want you to just ask yourself, like, if you find yourself asking yourself, does the world, you know, who am I to be the next network marketing, like, superstar like is that ever even going to happen like who am i all those things we're going to talk about that today okay so let me just read from from this a page and then we'll we'll open it up so i hear it time and time again as a business coach fear of not being credible fear of not being qualified fear of not being an expert it shows up in various ways and sounds like this who am i to be a coach who am i to help with this who am I to insert your dream? You know, who am I to be a corporate director here at APL Go? Aren't there already so many network marketers in the world? What makes me any different? Am I credible enough to do this work? What makes me better than all the rest? Is there really room for me? Does the world really need me? I could never be like so-and-so. Will anyone take me seriously? I don't have a PhD like Dr. Aaron. I don't even have a degree. Can you relate? I thought so. Even I wasn't immune from this kind of thinking prior to um, my co coaching career. I remember asking my coach, how can I just say I'm a business coach? I've never been a coach before and I've never really owned my own business before. And she lovingly reminded me I had been a successful psychologist in my own private practice for 15 years and had a great track record of helping people change their mindset and lives. Now I want you to get your paper and pencil out, you guys. And then it hit me. My credibility wasn't about me. My credibility was about the change I could make happen for my clients. Your credibility is about the change that you can make happen for your clients, your prospects, your team. It was about the transformation I could help my clients achieve. It was about the problems I could help my clients solve. Credibility is not about you, your past, or your credentials. It's about the value you can add to others. You are alive at a time when there has never been more opportunity to grow a successful business. In the next two years alone, more than 40% of the global population will have access to high-speed internet and be on their phones. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. 
This is what I believe network marketing, sales, all the things that we do here are. There's three steps, write these down. One, you have a problem or your prospect has a problem. Two, you have a solution. Three, we're going to allow them to decide if now is a good time to fix their problem. I'll say it again. One, people have a problem. Two, we have a solution. Three, we are going to allow them to decide if now is a good time to fix their problem. So I want you to make a list of two columns and open up your chat room. And I want us to start with our products. And I want us to think of these two columns. And we're gonna write at the top of the header, first is gonna be problems. And the second is aspirations. So in network marketing, we have kind of two categories that we help people with. One is their health and one is their finances and you know all the financial freedom. So one is the product and one is the opportunity. So let's just start with the product. Let's make a list of some of the problems people have with their health. So start jotting those down, put them in the chat room. Um, they could be things like not sleeping well, they have pain, they don't want to age, they want to lose weight, but they don't want to go on a diet. They have tried every diet in the book. These are all the problems that they have. Breathing, yes, allergies, congestion, mood, all the things, stress, write down all these problems. Um, diabetes, you know, uh, digestion problems, great. Low energy, yes. High blood pressure. We could go on and on, couldn't we? All the things. You guys got the idea, the problems, irritable bowel syndrome, memory, high blood pressure, genetics that are loaded for bad health. That's what Garth has, right? Like bad heart, heart health. Like all these problems, hair loss, yes wrinkles, <laughs> all the things, okay? This is an idea for the problem list for our products. Now let's make some um, ideas for aspirations. What does kind of everyone want? I want you to write down this phrase. Well, everyone knows or everyone wants, and, and this will jog your the way you're thinking about this. It's a powerful phrase. You know, everyone wants to what? Have more energy? What do people want? What are their aspirations? They wanna be their ideal weight. They wanna live a long life without chronic health problems. They wanna be fit and skinny, I love it. They wanna have longevity. They wanna be able to move without pain. They want to sleep well, yes. Another great phrase to put at the top of this list is most people, write that down, most people. And look at how we can put this in front of everything. Most people want to sleep well. Most people want to be able to keep up with their kids and grandkids. Most people want to be able to manage their stress without using medications. Most people, look at, isn't that fascinating? That just that, and all of a sudden you're onboarding people kind of into this idea of, yeah, yeah, that's what I want. Most people want to actually try to eat healthy and not eat junk food all day long. Most people, most people. Everyone kind of wants this, okay? So these are their aspirations. We could go on and on and on, right? Most people want beautiful blood work. Most people want a life without chronic pain. Most people want to live a long life. All those things, you get the point. Okay, so see, we've got this problem We've got this solution. Now we've got to figure out how do we talk to people in a way that gets them saying, yes, I would like your solution. And here's what we want to do. And Big Al talks a lot about this. Big Al says, we want people to tell us they're ready for our solution so that we don't ever have to sell to them and convince them. Okay. So I want you to write down these phrases and then we're going to practice them. I want you to write down the phrase, I've found a way, I've found a way. And the second phrase, would you like to hear how? 
Would you like to hear how? And I'll give you an example. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use any of your problems. I have found a way to help people with low energy, get more energy. Would you like to know how I, would you like to know how? Would you like to know, I have found a way to help my friend, Pamela, get rid of her knee pain. Is that something like, would you like to learn how? I've helped people get rid of their knee pain. Would you like to learn how I've helped her do it? Would you like to learn how I've done it? Would you like to learn how? Those are the three variations. My dog's wanting to come in just a second. Those are the three variations that you can think of. Would you like to learn how? Would you like to learn how I'm doing it? And would you like to hear how they did it? I'll say that again. Would you like to learn how? Would you like to learn how they're doing it? Would you like to hear how I'm doing it? Kind of just depends on who you're talking to. Because guess what? Then it sets them up to be like, yeah, yeah, I would. And you say, oh my gosh, basically, I found these things they are like candies. They got plant DNA in them. You suck on them. They go straight into your body and they help you get healthy. And that's what's been helping my friend get rid of her knee pain. Do you want to get started? Another thing you can ask is, do you, do you want to fix your knee pain now? Are you ready to fix your knee pain now? You could even use the, the phrase of let's fix that now. Like, let's do this, let's fix that. Okay. Let's make another list for the opportunity. What are the problems that people have? Because guess what? We solve the two problems people have. They wanna be healthy and wealthy. And we've got it all here, all here at APL Go, okay? So how about um, what are some of their problems? They can't pay the bills. They're working all the time. They're sick of their commute. They don't have enough money for the month. They have no savings. They don't have extra money for all the things in life that they want. They can't afford a baby. I had that one this week, like I can't afford daycare. Um, no time. They hate their job. They hate their boss. They hate like all the things. What you get there, there are the problems are endless, right? They've got credit cards. They don't know and ha can't save for retirement. Love it. Now, what are their aspirations to get rid of their commute? Just start to have an emergency fund. What are their aspirations to like what they do? to find a group of people they have fun with and can grow a business, to buy or build a new house. I mean, the list is endless. You know what we're talking about here, right? So again, I want you to think of our products have their problems and aspirations and our opportunity has its own list of problems and aspirations. So much stress every day. They wanna retire their spouse. Yes, yes, yes. So remember, they have a problem, we have a solution, we're going to allow them to decide if they want, if now is a good time to fix their problem. Going back to the phrase, I have found a way. I want you to imagine like, let's say Julie and I just met at a networking function. And Julie's going to ask me like, what do you do, Dr. Aaron? You literally could start, or what's new, Dr. Aaron? If we go to coffee and we know each other and she says, what's new or what do you do? You could start every phrase with, I found a way and insert. I mean, you guys, this is so exciting, isn't it? Like, well, what's new? Let's see, I found a way to help my friend Pamela save to build her dream home. That's what's new. Oh my God, I found a way to help my friend get out of a job she hates. Now I could be even more stealth if I knew something about Julie, right? If I knew Julie had a problem that I have a solution for, I could be very clever and I would be. So if she, if I knew she suffered from X, I would have my what's new statement be about X. Julie's going to be like, 
oh, really? And then she's going to either change the conversation or say, how? Like, tell me more. The second she says, tell me more, we're not selling anymore, are we? We're not, you know what I mean by selling. We're not doing that anymore. We're just like, oh, I'm all happy to share with you. Yeah, well, so I've, I've I found a way for Pamela to work part-time and to grow residual income. And she is now saving for this dream home that she's building. And yeah, is that something that you're interested in doing at this point in your life? That's a great question that's similar to, are you ready to fix this problem now? So one of the things you'll learn when you do three ways with me, I often ask people like, tell me like what, why now? Why are you looking at an extra opportunity right now? I'm asked, I'm telling them to sell me into why they want to do this. I am never convincing anyone to do anything. I was like, what, what do you look for when you're looking for a new opportunity? You sound like a really busy guy. Like, what are you looking for? If you're thinking about adding something extra to your already busy life, because I know whatever he says, I'm going to have the solution to, I just know I am. And then I get to say, are you ready to start doing that? Whatever that is that he just told me that is, are you, are you, you know, what's your top health concern? We see this in our rapid funnel app. They say it. And then we say, what does it say? It says, are you ready to change that now? Now, later, are you ready now? Like, are you ready to do something about that now? And they'll tell you yes or no. Okay. So I want you to really understand something. And I think this is so, this was, this is pivotal in understanding what the business model you have in front of you. So many people thought or have thought or been told to find a niche. And so many of you are like, how do I answer? What do I do? And who's the niche? The niche is all humans with this product that can suck on a candy. So three years old and up, okay? So guess what? The niche never was meant to be about the product or the person, the niche was meant to be the problem it solves. This is from Seth Godin, marketing New York Times bestseller, number one. The niche, we got it all wrong. The niche is not who we solve it for. It's what is the problem we solve? And the niche is the specific way we do it. So our niche is we basically help people get healthy by eating candy. That's a fascinating niche. You know what I mean? Um, the niche, it, it was like back in the day when people sold Hoover vacuums, guess what? The vacuum stayed the same. The vacuum did the same thing, but the way you would market it would be different depending on who was in front of you. So if I was in front of a stay-at-home mom, I'm gonna market this niche, this vacuum in a different way than if I was in front of corporate America, but it's the same vacuum. So I want you to be nimble. I want you to think about who's in front of you and what problems they have and how you are the solution to that. And that is your expert status and what you're credible at. So if I'm in front of chiropractors, guess what I do? I help chiropractors offer the most innovative technology in nutrition and be the first to market and create an extra stream of income doing so. That's what I do. Guess what I do if I'm in front of insurance agents? I help insurance agents increase their productivity by being the healthiest they can possibly be. Like, I don't know anything about insurance. Do you see how your credibility and your expert status is about your ability to take people from where they are to where they want to be, not who is it or what exactly is in front? Do you see that? Not exactly what, it, I don't want to try to say there. So your credibility, your expert status comes from helping people solve their solutions. So let's open up the, um, let's unmute yourself. And I want you just to practice this rolling off your tongue. And I'm just going to grab someone and I want you to answer with your, I found a way and just insert whatever. I'm there, there's not going to be a conversation afterwards. We're just going to insert. I'm just going to say like, Lisa, what's new. And I want her just to practice saying, I found a way and then insert whatever she wants to insert. It does not matter. Okay. I just, but I want it in your neurology. So let's unmute ourselves. We'll start with Julie. Julie, what's new? I found a way to keep up with my grandson who's two and a half years old. Oh my God. Okay, Julie, you're a star student. That was so good. Okay, Joby, what's new? I found a way to help my mom be, um, be in less pain at 92 years old. Oh my gosh. Okay, Tanya, what's new? 
Oh, unmute yourself, honey. Tanya, what's new? I found a way to help control my chronic pain issues due to a genetic bone disorder. Wow. Pamela, what's new? I have found a way to finally saving for the dream house that we've been thinking about for years. Oh, Jolene, what's new? Uh, I found a way to help my daughter not have to take so much asthma medicine. Wow. Martina, what's new? Unmute. I found a way to lower my medication for my anxiety and depression. Oh my gosh. So good, Martina. Kathleen, what's new? Found a way to keep up with second graders and yeah. clear thought and uh, stay awake. <laughs> I found a way to retire too. Okay, great, yeah, Kathleen. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Lori. Hey, Lori. In my turn. Lori, what's new? We'll go back to Lori. Bev, what's new? Unmute. I found a way to turn my brain off at night so I could have better sleep. Oh, I hope you guys are writing these down. Kristen Combs Keller, what's new? Uh, I found a way to find true balance in my life. Whoa, whoa, here's my credit card. <laughs> Kathleen Kelly, what's new? I found a way to recover from long haul COVID. Oh, <clears throat> Lisa Talbot, what's new? I found a way to get off the road and take charge of my life. <laughs> Yvette, what's new? As a therapist, I found a way that I um, can help people without having hands-on therapy. Wow. Kristen, what's new? I found a way to breathe without coughing and sneezing in the second month of this pollen swarm here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so good. Heather, what's new? Unmute. I found a way to gain energy through menopause and shift work and how to retire myself in 18 months. <laughs> Kevin, what's new? I found a way to cure a hangover. Yay! <laughs> Sarah, what? she's just showing off now. Sarah, what's new? I have found a way to escape my brain frog of the last few years. Wow. Thank you, Sarah. Lori, what's new? Are you able to unmute because you're driving? Start over, honey. You're muted. <laughs> but stay safe. But oh, stay there we go. There we go. Okay. I'm being safe. I have found a way to get my toddler grandchildren to sleep through the night for the first time in three years. <laughs> you guys. Um, Mandy, what's new? Uh, did you hear the training? Are you are you yeah, good? Yes, I'm in here with um, yes. Kathleen. <laughs> what's new? I found a way to help my friend get pregnant after eight years of failure. Oh, wow. You guys, give yourself a round of applause. Did I get to everybody? I think I did. Joan, did I get to Joan? No, no. but I found, a, I found a way to help my husband get rid of his knee pain so he's not so grouchy at night. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm kind of in love with this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Isn't that amazing? What a great training, Erin. This is yes. so fun. I love so this. Fun. So fun. What's new? What's new? What a great question. What's yeah. new? With you. And, then and then they're going to say, what's new with you? So you could just have that what's new question in your back pocket for everybody. You'd be like, well, let me see. Let's see. What's new? I found a way. And just play it cool. I found a way. And then insert your statement. <laughs> so simple. So simple. So simple. Oh. Yes. And so, okay, so we're, my options. we're gonna claim our expert status you guys no one even knows about apl go so guess what you're the expert on apl go <laughs> <laughs> okay so stop telling yourself you don't know enough or that you need to learn more about apl go to do the business. you don't um yeah so you have the solution um, any other thoughts? Let's open it up for discussion or questions or thoughts. Erin, I've listened to you so many times. This is one of my 
my favorite trainings. And again, I probably heard it three times and took more notes this time because clearly I was ready to hear it, you know, this time. Um, what was funny, I'm going to do a request from you, though. I was training one of my folks on, um, on, on same thing, problem, issue, solution. And one of your, again, best trainings I've ever heard in my life was when you taught me, here's their problem, you know, here's the solution. But before you put solution to problem, you make their problem yeah. bigger. You know, I love that training. So would you tee that one up? That changed my person yesterday. Just oh. her eyes went like this, like, oh, Joby, thank you. I made you. it so, more painful. Erin uh, told me. Widening the gap and you make the more gap. painful and you have them sit in their pain. And so you're like, oh my God, how long have you been suffering with that? <laughs> or, mm -hmm. like, and you get them to sit in their pain because the yeah. second, and then they psychologically are like, yeah, I'm ready to change this. Yeah, these two would go so well together. And they're <laughs> both, one, it's just remembering before you put solution to issue is to just <laughs> ouch, make it more painful. I loved it. And it was <laughs> so fun to teach somebody because they're like, that's so easy. It's just adding another step. But it's a crucial step that like you just said, Dr. Or Big Al, then now they're selling you. Now they're asking you because you're like, man, you're never going to retire, are you? <laughs> <laughs> and can I interject that the yes, best thing is also don't. to let it set once yeah. you bring it up with them you just you zip your mouth and let it set because they will just keep on talking about their pain and their knee and oh my gosh yes and their fatigue and oh this and just zip it and let yeah. them just tell you everything that's going on with them so much fun both of them they're really easy and then people I so think mentally. you upskill us so quickly with something like this because they can go well, I can answer the question, what's new? And if they haven't asked me, I can ask them and hope that they then ask me because I'm They're like- ask you. <laughs> like <laughs> Ashley, she's new to network marketing and she's here to save money for a house. She's like, I can't save money with my current job. There's no money left at the end of the bills. And so insanity <laughs> is thinking there's ever gonna be money at the end of the bills. So imagine if she were like, what's new? Like, I found a way to save up for a house. Like. <laughs> But yeah, Julie, what I'll do sometimes is I'll just keep asking questions. I call it the lean in. I'll be like, just a second. Cause they'll be like, well, what's your, what's your solution? I'll be like, well, just a second. Like, I got to know more about this. Like, what do you mean your husband's a jerk because of knee pain? Like, what, what do you mean? Like, how long has he been suffering with that? And I'll just lean in, you know? Absolutely. Like, yeah. yeah. I have a confession to make. Okay, great. I'm a texter. Okay. I oh, I thought you were going to say that you were going to go to AA. <laughs> right, you had a hangover. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, no, no. It's funny. I've said, I've said the hangover thing a couple of times, and I thought they're going to think I, I need to go to AA. <laughs> no, I don't. So, Kevin, um, did you see my whole stories the other day on National Wine Day? <laughs> <laughs> You're a texter. So, yep. So you don't so, have these so conversations. I, I, it's my preferred method of communication. Um, in fact, if people call me, I feel creeped out because I'm like, why are you calling? You can just text me. And, and, and through and through education and listening, I'm like, I need to get more into vocal conversations um, and because you, you just can't communicate this way via text. It just it doesn't work. People yep. disappear in the conversation. They go away. When you're in a phone with somebody, they don't leave. Nope. But when you're texting with somebody, you get a response five hours later. Well, how do you know you, you can't retain interest? So um, I, I'm going to start using the phone more often. Thank you. You're welcome. And and now that COVID's lifting some places and when we're able to hang out with humans, you know, yes, you are definitely right. This stuff doesn't work when you're not talking to humans. And so this these tools really are for when you're on a coffee date, when you're seeing someone at the grocery store what's new joby oh my god i saw this and what's new with you and like you're right there's a conversational leading people through that doesn't happen on text you know and many many leaders have i've recently heard they've probably been saying this for a long time but again like joby says the student appears when they're ready but i've heard a lot lately that social media is actually one of the worst things that's ever happened to our business as network marketers because we're relying on it and we're thinking and we're living in this i'm going to post and go i'm going to post and people are going to say how do i start a business with you and it's just you just cannot get away from human interaction and so yeah i appreciate that it's true truth with the capital t can I say one more thing, Erin? 
Yes. Just on the, you know, so what's new is the putting on the COVID is just that I, I have found a way to save for my retirement while being locked down in my house. Totally. Because a lot, you know, a lot of people for their health issues are still, they are taking extreme precautions to keep themselves healthy and yeah. they are still in their home. Yes. And, and to tell them that there is an avenue to do and to connect with humans while in their home. I have found a way to grow a business and never have to leave my home. <laughs> I mean, or a sunny beach or a sunny beach. <laughs> oh my God. I got someone to join because she hates talking to humans by saying, I found a way to grow this without ever having to talk to humans with our rapid funnel. And she's like, sign me up. You had me at not talking to humans. I mean, it's you guys, you got it. If you know anything about the person in front of you, you can do this with anything. <laughs> love it. I love this. All right. That was really fun. Thanks, everyone. You made it so fun. Thanks, Dr. Aaron. You're so Thanks, welcome. You. Thanks, Dr. Aaron. Great. Enjoyed that. Yes. That was awesome. Thanks. This is a great Thank share. You. Thank great you. Share, as always. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Happy I'm holiday. Eating healthy eating candy. Oh. <laughs> Aaron, can I ask you a question or Aaron and Pamela right after everybody gets off? Quick question about.